And the worldwide announced today is for the new Razor Blade Pro. Portability for the stealth, portability and power for the blade, and just the same amount of power for the Blade Pro. So what's in the new Razor Blade Pro? Well, first up, as I've mentioned, it's got an Intel Core i7 quad core CPU, 6700HQ up to 33.5 gigahertz. It's an insane CPU. But that's not all, of course. We've got the GeForce GTX 1080 desktop class GPU. This is a beast of a GPU. Right? It's got 8 gigabytes of GDDR5X VRAM, and it's got an insane amount of memory. There's 32 gigabytes of dual channel memory, default on the new Razer Blade Pro. And that's a lot more than a standard desktop out there. It's got up to 2 terabytes of storage, PCIe SSDs at RAID 0. We've also designed it the world's first ultra low profile mechanical keyboard with the new Razer Blade Pro. And of course, it's powered by Razer Chroma. We've got localized keyboard options for German, French, and UK, and of course, the US also at the same time. And on top of that, we've got some true advanced connectivity. In addition to that, we've got Thunderbolt on this. We've got a Thunderbolt USB-C port running at 40 gigabits per second on this. That's a port that most desktops don't even have today. We've got a dedicated network card, a dedicated network card today for a desktop. That's unheard of, and it's a Killer Double Shot Pro, the latest from Killer, that allows you to have a wired and wireless connection, and it will intelligently track and bring in the fastest um, packets, alternating between the, the wireless and wired connection. And of course, this means that the Blade Pro has a Ethernet port native on this, and finally, we've got an SD card slot on this. Why? Because we've ensured that we take, you know, our photographers, we, we are taking the needs of the photographers, of all our creative professionals, to be able to exchange data quickly with an SD card slot. So we've got all of this. Now think about it. We've got a CPU, we've got a GPU, GTX um, 1080, we've got 32 gigs of RAM, we've got two terabytes of, of storage of an SSD, all this has an insane amount of power. How have we managed to get this incredible amount of power into something as thin and as light as a laptop? Well, the same thing that we've done over the, for the past five years. We've got a bespoke thermal management system. And, and this is a time where, candidly, we've led the world on this. And bear in mind, we do not throttle any of our GPUs. That's something many people who have copied us have done. They've throttled their GPUs every single Razer product. We don't throttle any of the GPUs. They run at full current and capacity, at full bore. It's got the world's thinnest vapor chamber. We've got dynamic heat exchangers. We've got internal fans that take out the heat from the system. And it does incredibly, incredibly well. And how well does it do? Well, you know, it's just 22.5 millimeters thin. That's insanely, insanely thin for a desktop. And it weighs at just three and a half kilograms. 